Okay, just been to KFC to get the Nashville hot. It's uh, running out the 18th of June, which is today, so it's 10 o'clock now. We just came down to get it, so gonna give you my view on it. I don't like gherkin, so I'm gonna take the gherkin off. Just smells like normal KFC chicken. Mmm, bit of spice in there. <laughs> Got more piece as well. Really. Okay. Oh, I'll show you. The, is there a good lighting in here? Mm -hmm. Put it under the light. Can you see that? So this is what it looks like. It does have gherkin on it, but I took mine off. I, you can see like the spice that I put on. So okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going in. Hmm. <laughs> That is nice. It tastes a bit barbecue. Oh my god, that's getting really hot. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> okay, at first, you get like. God, I don't need a drink. You get a. <coughs> god. You get like a sweet barbecue taste it's like sort of really like sweet chili and now <laughs> it's just kicked in like right in the back of my throat but you get the normal KFC taste but then it's like a lot spicier and what's it called a zinga it's a I'd say it's spicier than that I'll give zinga probably about 6.5 spice out of ten but this is probably about eight no eight point five actually because it this is like making me sweat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I just tried the batter on its own. It is really sweet when you first, you don't get any spicy at the start. But yeah, you can definitely tell it's different to the normal KFC chicken. But it is really nice. It's not too spicy as in you don't want to eat more. It's like a bit like Nando's. Don't know. Don't know how to explain it to you. You'll have to. I don't even know if they're going to be bringing them back to be honest. But if it does come back out, you'll have to try it. But. Out of ten, I would give this a nine. So, thanks for watching. Mm.